Hey guys, this is Mom Maeve. So today I wanted to help you out with a little tutorial video in case you're needing help in this area. Um, so yesterday I did put up a video. Um, it was basically to get super cheap hug Huggies using the Fetch app. Um, and there were some issues with the Fetch app. Like there is sometimes, sometimes when you scan receipts, the Fetch app doesn't it'll sometimes get the brand that you bought but if you, if they're advertising for a specific product a lot of times those products don't give you the points back automatically and you have to manually put in the item that you bought in order to get the points so i think it's still something that fetch is trying to fix maybe in the back end i don't know if they don't have things coded right but it definitely is something as a couponer that you need to keep your eyes out for if you are submitting a receipt for a specific offer make sure that you're getting back those points um now fetch does have a whole bunch of brands that you'll just get back like bonus points for purchasing those brands which um that's great a lot of times those brands though don't have like bonus offers um, but they still give us additional points, which add up quickly so you can cash in for gift cards. Um, so this uh, video is not about like all the ins and outs of Fetch. This is just about what to do when you submit a receipt and you don't get the points back that you were expecting. I do have a referral code for Fetch in the comments or in the description box below. So if you don't have it and you want to get it, you can go ahead and sign up. So let's jump right into what to do and how to fix this issue. Okay, so the first thing, obviously, you're going to want to open your app and you want to look down at the bottom tab that says activity. Go ahead and click that and then you can choose which receipt that you need to review. Um, I just picked the first one here. So what you want to do, if something isn't right, you see the little pencil at the top right hand of the screen. You want to go ahead and click that pencil. That's like the edit button pretty much. Um, and here it says correct my receipt. You want to pick which item didn't ring up correctly or sometimes they don't even ring up at all and you have to just click that add an item that was missed. But majority of the time it recognizes that you bought something um, but it's just not the exact right product comes up on the fetch end as to what you actually bought. So when you click on the product that needs to be changed, um, fetch will give you a whole list of possible choices that you can pick or you can even type into search but honestly I like clicking the scan barcode button because it's a lot easier if you just scan the barcode um, <clears throat> your missing product pretty much comes up right away now I have I think it was a yogurt one time I scanned the barcode and it was recognizing something completely different so I did have to type in what it was um, but I think the easiest thing to do is to just scan the barcode and 90% of the time, um, the exact product comes up. So sometimes you even need to take further action. Um, like yesterday, even after I scanned the barcodes and put in that this is what I bought, Fetch still came back and only gave me some of the points, not all of them. So I still had to contact them further. So if scanning the barcodes and submitting it that way, if you don't get these bonus offers, which a lot of times that's the issue, they'll give you points for the brands, but it's the bonus offers sometimes that don't give you the right amount. So what you're gonna need to do, you're going to need to look down at the bottom and click on the me icon to bring your profile and everything up. So then you wanna go ahead and click at the help center. Click on the Contact Us tab. So then you need to select the reason for contacting them. And then this video is about missing points. So obviously you're going to want to select missing points. And then your little screen will come up for you to type what you're missing. Keep it brief to the point. Make sure you type in what brand and how many points you're supposed to get. So that way they know what bonus offer you're expecting to receive points for. Um, let them know when the date of the purchase was and where it was at. You can even send in a copy of your receipt. You shouldn't have to do that because they should have that on the system. I have done that before, but most of the time I don't even send it and they just give me the points. I don't know if they check it or if they just assume. I'm not sure. 
But anyway, um, so that's how you submit to Fetch for missing points. Um, Fetch is awesome about giving you the points if you purchase the right product. Um, I don't know if they've ever turned me down when I submitted for a mistake on their end. So anyway, if you don't have Fetch, totally get it. Even if you're not using it to buy these special offers, these points actually add up really quick as a couponer and you're buying name brand product. Uh, you would actually be really surprised how quick these points will add up. So it's just a bonus um, a bonus for you. There's so many places you can redeem the gift card for. We're not going to get into all that though right now in this video. Um, I hope this helped you out and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.